good morning you guys it is Monday what the 22nd and I just got off the scale and I gained somehow uh, I think it said 1.6 pounds who knows how that occurred I'm gonna try not to let that bother me and just to keep pushing forward that's all I can do so I'm gonna enjoy this coffee, which of course has got some MCT oil and some liquid collagen and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And I'll come back here for some breakfast, probably some eggs. And um, I'm gonna try to walk today. It's been uh, basically a week since I've been active. Um, I was pretty sick this past week and just have a really happy stamina. I still don't really feel like it, um, but I know I need to do it. So at the very least, I need to, you know, get the dog out and get him walked and maybe that will trigger me to feel like doing more. You guys, this is breakfast. This is 700 calorie breakfast. Um, it is four eggs, um, four ounces of queso fresco, and uh, one of the little mini uh, guacamole uh, containers. So that's what I'm gonna have, and uh, we'll check back later. So today I've got some uh, low-key body dysmorphia going on. Uh, everything just feels bad to me. I recognize that on the scale I'm losing weight. I'm just not seeing things quickly enough. Check out how dirty my mirror is. Um, need to work on that. Um, yeah. Um, you know, people keep pointing out, they're seeing that I'm losing weight. My husband um, was calling these baggy pants. Kind of. I mean, not really though. Um, I still have got this muffin top. Um, I don't know just really struggling right now with kind of working on this so hard and then not really seeing, I guess, results. So, I don't know. Um, Zeke and I are going to go for a walk and um, I guess I will check in later. Zeke and I just got back from two trips around our neighborhood. It's a little bit of a disappointment since I had worked myself up to 10,000 steps. Um, and now that's pretty much just making me tired, especially after this last week of sickness. So that's going to be it for now. And, uh, hopefully I will use my work breaks today to go ahead and walk around the buildings. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and have some sparkling water and, um, relax a little bit before work. And I will check in with you later. So yesterday I binged. <laughs> um, I ate my calories well before I came home from work. I get home from work at about 10.30 at night and then I continued to eat and it was all keto foods but you can see from my ring that I'm very swollen. I don't feel very good today. Um, starting my day out with my coffee. Of course, it's got the collagen, the MCT oil, and a couple tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And I think I'm going to have to be really strict um, from, you know, obviously today and who knows how long this is going to affect me, but I definitely feel like I have a hangover. And it's the first time I've felt bad, I guess, from eating. Uh, of course, it's the first time that I have done this, but it definitely doesn't feel good, so. And I am waiting in the vet. Um, this morning I woke up to find that my cat had, there was a bunch of blood on the bed, and so not sure what's going on. It seems to be coming from his mouth, 
So we are waiting here to see what's going on. So I'm back from the vet and I'm getting ready to strip the spare bedroom bed. You can see kind of why I wanted to take him to the vet this morning. Um, all of this was from um, a tooth. His canine tooth apparently had developed a cavity under the gum where we couldn't see it. And apparently in cats that can kind of infiltrate and go down through the middle of the tooth. And then in this case, it, it literally busted off the canine. And so they're not sure what to do because um, basically he's an older cat and so there's problems with anesthesia to do anything, you know, where they would put him under anesthesia. So they sent him home with some pain pills and some antibiotics and they ran some blood work and they're waiting to see basically whether he's healthy enough to, to get it fixed. It is about noon and I'm having four eggs, um, four ounces of queso fresco, and um, a serving of the little mini guacamoles, the avocado. Uh, it's about a 700 calorie lunch. Um, earlier this morning I had my coffee with the MCT oil and we'll see how things develop throughout the day. Hi you guys, it's just a couple minutes before I go into work and so I just thought I would, I guess, check in. Um, yeah, a little bit earlier was kind of stressful with the cat. The, the vet did call me and let me know that they had done the blood work and they think that the cat Charles will be okay for surgery. Um, I have to schedule that about a week out. The only unfortunate part is that um, the money aspect of that, of course, there was a um, a price to pay for bringing him in earlier today and then the surgery itself costs around well depending if it's just the one tooth that broke off um, plus cleaning the rest that's around five hundred dollars and then of course if they find more it would be more expensive so that's kind of depressing just because it seems like whenever we get ahead or even when we you know, my husband just got a, a bonus from his work and we kind of daydream about what sorts of things that you might uh, spend that sort of thing on and then this sort of stuff happens. So it's kind of like, um, yeah, there are all those cool things that we might spend it on, but it seems like inevitably it's, <laughs> I don't know, vet bills or things like that. So I still have to talk to him about that when I get home. We both work um, kind of weird shifts, so... This evening we'll have that conversation about how we want to proceed and how soon we can proceed. And um, yeah, bye bye, $500, $600. Um, anyway, just getting ready to go in and um, I will check in later. Bye. I wanted to show you guys an interesting thing that's happened since I started keto. Um, basically, <laughs> Um, it has kind of pushed my husband to eat worse. Um, so basically while I'm gone away at work or just not here, basically he's going and having fast food or eating bags of chocolate chips. <laughs> so that's definitely one side effect, I guess, in our household. Um, I've been trying to cook things that are um, tasty and good for us, but it's definitely creating an interesting behavior. Hi you guys, it's Wendy. This is our dinner tonight. We're having a fathead pizza dough. This time I made the one that's made with coconut flour. It has a lot fewer calories. Um, so on top of that we have about a fourth of a cup of sauce, um, some mozzarella, some pepperoni, some red pepper and some green olives. All right, my husband has made breakfast this morning. He cooked me up some eggs and a couple of these turkey sausages. And my usual coffee with the two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream 
the tablespoon of MCT oil and the tablespoon of collagen and just a few drops of the hazelnut stevia. All right, it's about 10.30 and my sweet hubs has made some uh, fajita, stuff for fajita. So I'm gonna do that and call it an evening.